chasing the police every single day. Say hi, Andy. I'm recording you. I got you. Yes, they are. You know what's really criminal? What's that? Those knee-high socks. I know, but that's what the brown shirts wore. <laughs> <laughs> from Robert Mills 2 Hogs 0105 at gmail.com Sent Tuesday, July 27, 2021, 1 46 p.m. to Norman Nara, C.C. Gregory B. Murray, Jason Cheschini. Subject External Re Concerns Regarding Political Demonstrators. Message from an external sender. Please use caution when opening attachments, clicking links, or replying to this message. Good afternoon Captain. Thank you so much for your reply. It actually means a lot I completely understand your position and limitations. I suspected these were the same individuals my wife saw earlier on 41 on her way home from work. Here's hoping they eventually think they've met their objective and fade away before they hurt the local businesses. I've been impressed with PGPD since we moved here and frankly, I don't envy your position. Stay safe brother. Some of us old cops are on your side. Thank you. Rob. On Tuesday July 27, 2021 at 11.38 Norman Nara and not RA at City of Punta Gorda FL.com wrote. Mr. Mills. I am in receipt of the email you sent to the city manager and I truly understand your concerns. I am sorry that you had to cut your evening short due to the actions of these individuals. Just to give a brief overview, a gentleman planned an organized protest in reference to the city's new sign ordinance on Friday night. The protest started in front of the Public Safety Building, US 41 and Ann Street, at approximately 6 p.m. and was scheduled to go until 9 p.m. After not receiving much attention, they went to the downtown area, mainly near Leroy's, to continue their organized protest in hopes of getting more attention. We sent officers to the area when we received a call for service and confirmed that they were the same individuals conducting the organized protest and that they changed locations. We did not make contact with them as they were not committing a crime and we have an obligation to respect their constitutional right to protest the city code chapter 14 noise ordinance which is a civil infraction does not apply because the noise is not coming from a premise there is also a restriction to loud sound making devices in our parks if they are audible over 100 feet per chapter 16 of our code of ordinances but this incident occurred in a public right of way the Florida statute regarding noise by a radio or sound making device applies only to vehicles. We have consulted with the state attorney's office regarding the criminal charge of breach of peace. There are also limitations on this charge due to the need for witnesses who are willing to testify in court and case law concerning what is actually witnessed. The officer cannot be the victim of a breach of peace. Additionally, we may not arbitrarily. 2. Place someone under arrest for uttering the F word or any other inappropriate word as we have to be cautious of protecting the First Amendment rights of all of our citizens. There would most likely need to be other factors in place before the state would consider charges, such as what was actually observed by the witnesses, the possibility of the words inciting a fight, etc. I would like to reassure you that we did have officers in the area and they remained in the area watching the protesters from afar until they left to ensure the safety of the public. Hopefully, you can see that the police department has been doing its best to address this issue within the confines of the U.S. Constitution, Florida statute, and city ordinances. My contact information is below. Please feel free to contact me in the future with any questions or concerns. Sincerely, Captain Norman Nara, Operations Commander, Punta Gorda Police Department, 1410 Tamiami Trail, Punta Gorda, Florida 33950.
941-575-5533, Office. 941-639-4111, Maine. Commitment to Excellence, 